The story begins with a woman walking around with a megaphone in her hand and looking for a wife for her son, she said that he had his own house and his own car. But the guy didn't succeed in his blind dates, he didn't have his own home, car, or even savings in his bank account. The girls asked if he was the only child in the family and if he had a bank account and if he worked for a large company, but the guy wasn't having any of it. But one day one girl said that she didn't need a car or his money from him, the guy thought that he had finally met a normal girl. But suddenly the girl turned out to be pregnant and said that she wanted to find a father for her child and asked if he agreed. The guy was shocked by this and asked for forgiveness, said that he was not yet ready for children and ran away from there with lightning speed. The guy remembered that because of his record among mercenaries, he received the title of God of Murder and all the enemies flinched when they heard his name. And the guy returned home to find himself a wife and live a quiet life, but he wondered why it was so difficult for him to find her. The guy thought that when everyone told him that modesty would lead him to success, it turned out to be complete nonsense. The guy thought that he was actually very strong and would prove to everyone that he was a worthy and smart man. And then suddenly a girl came up to him and said that her name was Yi Ning Han, she asked if she could meet him. The guy was shocked by this because he was an ordinary guy and she was a beauty, the guy realized that she was perfect for him. The guy looked at her with loving eyes and said that of course they could take a walk together and get to know each other better. Yi Ning Han thought that the only way to avoid an engagement was to find herself a worthy temporary husband. The girl thought that this guy had cheap clothes, but he himself looked good, she thought that if she gave him money, they could come to an agreement with him. The guy saw mutual sympathy in her eyes and he realized that he had finally found a girl who would appreciate his beauty. Yi Ning Han thought about what people usually did in such situations and suddenly asked the guy if he had a house. The guy thought and was no longer going to look like a nonentity because he couldn't miss such a girl. The girl asked if he had any savings, the guy said that in addition to the motorcycle he had a plane and a tank, but he used them when necessary. The guy said that his sister collected savings for him and he didn't know the exact amount but it had to be about a hundred billion dollars. Yi Ning Han asked the guy what he was doing before, the guy said he was a mercenary and people called him the god of murder. The girl said that she also wanted to tell him the truth and said that she was the commander of the sapper group and asked him not to tell anyone about it. The guy asked her not to worry and said that it would remain their secret because he knew how to keep secrets. After talking with Yi Ning Han, the guy left the establishment in high spirits, he thanked fate that he met such a beauty. And suddenly he met the very girls he had previously dated, the girls said that the poor guy came again to look for a bride, but he was turned away again. But the guy looked at them proudly and said that he had met a new girl and added that she was much more beautiful than them. The girl started laughing and said that he was making it all up and thought that the guy probably dreamed everything or he hit his head. But at that very second, Yi Ning Han suddenly drove up to them in her luxury car, all the girls were speechless from this. People around her started flirting with Yi Ning Han and told her that they had a house and a car and promised that they would do whatever she wanted. Yi Ning Han asked everyone for forgiveness and said that she already has a boyfriend, the girl asked Ling Chen to get into her car. All the girls who had previously refused Ling Chen looked at Yi Ning Han and couldn't believe their eyes and said that it was impossible. Lin Chen got into the car and asked Yi Ning Han if they would go to the hotel, but the girl said that she would take him to a more exciting place. People around said that this was absurd and did not understand why such a beautiful girl chose such a poor guy. Yi Ning Han brought the guy to the marriage registration office, Ling Chen said that this really excited him a lot. They signed all the documents and the girl smiled and told Ling Chen that they had now legalized their relationship. Ling Chen was surprised and asked if they were now legalized and realized that he now had an official wife. Ling Chen said that if they were now husband, then he could get to know her better and suddenly he wanted to kiss her. But Yi Ning Han pushed him away and asked Mr. Ling Chen to behave, Ling Chen didn't understand this reaction. Ling Chen was very surprised and asked the girl why she called him Mr. After all, they had just gotten married. The girl smiled and told the guy not to complicate everything and asked him not to be upset and to believe her words. The guy was surprised and asked if she really only needed a painting, Yi Ning Han agreed with him and said that they will now meet for a divorce. Ling Chen shrugged and said that fate cannot be predicted and maybe they will meet again if they are alive. Yi Ning Han just flashed the marriage document in front of him and said goodbye that he was a very interesting guy. 
Ling Chen shouted to his sweetheart not to forget that she has a husband and therefore she should not date other guys. The girl said that he was crazy and slammed the door of her car and drove away from there, Ling Chen finally asked her to take care of herself. Ling Chen thought that she really just wanted to leave him and said that it wasn't so easy to get rid of him. Suddenly, Ling Chen ran after her car and said that now it was time to spy on his precious wife. Meanwhile, Yi Ning Han, after a long drive, arrived at some glamorous restaurant for rich people. She got out of the car and thought that she was finally able to break away from this restless and strange guy. At the same time, Ling Chen continued to run after the car, he ran 30 kilometers without stopping and was very tired. The guy asked the girl to wait for her and suddenly saw Yi Ning Han entering this establishment and thought that he had finally caught up with her. Ling Chen wondered if she really went so far because she was hungry and wanted to eat some kind of steak. Ling Chen quietly watched her and wondered what his little wife would do next and what she was up to. But suddenly the guy thought that if he went inside, Yi Ning Han would definitely notice him and his spy business would come to an end. But suddenly looking up, Ling Chen suddenly came up with a brilliant idea to get inside through the ventilation. Meanwhile, Yi Ning Han entered the restaurant and the guys sitting there thought that this was the first time they had seen such a beauty and they were ready to do anything for such a girl. Yi Ning Han sat down at the table and when the waitress came to her, she kindly asked her to bring her Kobe beef. The waitress asked the beauty to wait one minute and said that she would quickly bring her everything in the best possible way. But suddenly, after these words, the waitress smiled and threw some crumpled paper towards Yi Ning Han. Yi Ning Han picked up the piece of paper and began to read the message, and at that moment Ling Chen was watching her, what kind of old method of applying for information was this? But suddenly Yi Ning Han was distracted from reading because someone called her cute and asked if she was there alone. And then three guys suddenly approached her and asked the beauty if she wanted to have a little drink and sit with them. L Ling Chen, looking at all this from the fan, thought that they really dared to hit on his wife and asked if they were tired of living. The guy at that moment realized that it was time for the hero of the hero Lin Chen to save this beauty from the evil villains. But suddenly Yi Ning Han quickly stood up and approached the guy and hit him between the legs, she said they wouldn't get what they were thinking about. The subordinates ran up to their leader, whose name was the third brother, and asked if he was okay after such an unexpected blow. Third brother became very angry and ordered his subordinates to quickly close the door and said that he would deal with this girl today. Third brother approached the girl and said that he would never forgive her for such an act and would punish her for such public humiliation. Yi Ning Han told the guy that he wouldn't succeed and he would regret it and suddenly she started attacking all three men. Ling Chen watched all this and thought that it was very cruel because these guys were begging Yi Ning Han to stop beating them. Yi Ning Han knocked out all the men and calling them freaks, she left this establishment and after that Ling Chen went downstairs. Ling Chen sat and thought about Yi Ning Han's words about her being a sapper, he was very interested to know the whole truth about her. And then suddenly the third brother stood up and insulted Yi Ning Han and told her not to come into his sight again and said that otherwise he would do something terrible to her. Hearing all these words, Ling Chen kicked the guy and asked what he intended to do with her, third brother cried and asked Ling Chen to calm down. Ling Chen told these bastards that they would now answer him for all the insults towards Yi Ning Han and continued beating them. Meanwhile, after this incident, Yi Ning Han arrived at another bar, she asked the girl if she should do this. The girl asked Yi Ning Han to do this no matter what and asked her not to be shy or modest anymore. Another girl quietly approached Yi Ning Han and said that they were all waiting for her and she had the last word. Yi Ning Han agreed with the girls and told everyone to start the game without delay and without any other thoughts. They started the game and Yi Ning Han asked the girls to quickly finish with the opponents because she had little health left. The girl said that her opponents surrounded her on all sides and asked all her allies to heal her. And another girl said that she was doing something today and she was damn lucky in some moments. But ultimately they lost the battle, Yi Ning Han was upset and said that they really lost again. The girl said it was because their team bond was too weak and they still needed to train a lot. Yi Ning Han put that same piece of paper on the table and said that the team had been assembled and, given the latest information, Guo Bao was unable to infiltrate Yushan. She said that Yushan was a business company on the outside and a criminal organization on the inside, but many people didn't know this. The girl asked Yi Ning Han what should they do now because Guo Bao had failed their entire carefully planned plan. 
Yi Ning Han said that she herself would infiltrate Yushan and tomorrow she would prepare for a face scan and told the girls to continue working and wait for instructions. The girl said that she heard that after completing the mission, Chiu Zhuang would propose to her and she could become the bride of the master of the capital of the empire. But Yi Ning Han suddenly burned the piece of paper and answered the girl and said that she had already sent the marriage certificate to her home. Yi Ning Han smiled and said that she had no desire to wash the dirty clothes of the capital guy and listen to his problems. The girls were very surprised and asked Yi Ning Han if she really got married without telling anyone about it and who was her fiancé. Yi Ning Han asked the girls not to be impressed and said that he was an ordinary guy who didn't even have his own car. And suddenly at that moment Ling Chen sneezed and thought that his dear wife was probably thinking about him now. And suddenly, Ling Chen heard a voice behind him, this was a girl and she asked the guy if he was there alone. Ling Chen was shocked and wondered if today was some kind of holiday because first he met Yi Ning Han and now this girl was flirting with him. The girl approached him and pressed herself against his shoulder and asked if he would like to treat her to a glass of water if it was not difficult for him. Ling Chen was very happy and beaming with joy and told the girl that she could drink as much water as she liked. Meanwhile, Ling Chen treated the girl to drinks and she told him that he had very strong muscles and he, in turn, said that she had a very beautiful body. The girl herself flirted with him and said that he could sit closer to her, but suddenly the girl screamed and told Xue Gu that this guy was pestering her. And then suddenly a guy approached Ling Chen and asked him how he dared to pester his girlfriend and did he really think that he was the bravest guy of all. Xu Ge's comrades told Ling Chen that he could send him to the hospital with one blow, but if he gave them 10,000 yuan, they would let him go. Lin Chen, upon reflection, realized that he stupidly, without thinking with his brains, fell for the bandit's trick. And then Ling Chen stood up and told the guys that they were doing a very interesting job and seemed to be earning a lot of money. Xu Gu was surprised and stood in bewilderment, he asked Ling Chen why he was talking after all because he was interested in learning about it. But suddenly Ling Chen lifted his t-shirt and said that he had just been harassed and he thought that 50,000 in compensation would be enough for him. Xu Gu got angry and asked Ling Chen if he really wanted to tease him and asked if he was tired of living in this world. Xu Gu told Ling Chen that now he will die today and will not go anywhere, he said that he would learn that Xu Gu himself should not be rude. But suddenly, Ling Chen just grinned at all these threats and began to step on the bandits' feet, he stepped on their feet non-stop. The bandits were crying and saying that they couldn't feel their legs at all, Ling Chen asked them if they were in pain, they agreed with him and asked him to stop. Ling Chen told them that this would be a great lifelong lesson for them that would be very difficult to forget, and at that moment the girl began to quietly leave from there. But suddenly Ling Chen stopped her and said that they had not yet given him the money for moral damages and asked her where she had gone. The girl laughed and told Ling Chen that she would satisfy all his desires and he could do whatever he wanted with her. But suddenly Ling Chen kicked this girl with all his might and asked for forgiveness and said that she was no longer interested in him. After that, Ling Chen took Xu Gu by the scruff of the neck and said that if he didn't give him the money, he would break his other leg and he would be disabled for the rest of his life. Ling Chen grinned and told the bandit that the choice was now his and asked him to think carefully before answering him. Xu Gu, with tears in his eyes, gave Ling Chen his bank card and said that all his money was there, Ling Chen took the card and told the guy that he was very generous. But suddenly Ling Chen turned around and noticed that Yi Ning Han and her friends had come out of the room, Ling Chen was happy to see her. Ling Chen ran after her and told his sweetheart that he had come for her, Xu Gu grinned and finally told Ling Chen that he forgot to ask for the card password. Ling Chen quickly ran outside in the hope of catching up with his beautiful and sweet wife, but at that moment someone was carefully watching him. The girl watching looked very stylish and was very beautiful, she said this guy was very cute. The man answered her and said that unfortunately he did not have any information about Ling Chen and they could not invite him to their company. The girl told Uncle Chiao that she received information that someone was digging under his powerful company Yushan. Uncle Chiao said that he learned that the best mercenary organization in the world, Shir Chiu, was now in a crisis and they could take advantage of the existing advantage. The girl was surprised and asked what happened to Shir Chiu, the man said that Shir Chiu's boss had retired, which was very beneficial for them. The girl raised her glass and smiled and told Uncle Chiao that it looked like there would be a great battle in the city of Tianhai. Meanwhile, when night fell, 
all the interesting things were unfolding in the city of Tianhai in the building of the Hua Fu district. Yi Ning Han told the girls that these were her temporary apartments and informed them that from now on they would live there with her. But suddenly Yi Ning Han heard slow footsteps behind her, she wondered if they could really find her so quickly. But unexpectedly, when Yi Ning Han turned around, she saw Ling Chen behind her and froze in place at the appearance of such an unexpected guest. Ling Chen greeted the girl and was very happy to see Yi Ning Han again, he asked if she was staying in such a good establishment. Yi Ning Han was shocked by the guy's appearance and couldn't find the right words, she asked the guy what he was doing there and what he needed from her. Ling Chen asked his dear if she was against him finding her and said that he was very worried about her. Ling Chen told Yi Ning Han how beautiful and kind she was, the girls looked at all this and wondered if he really called her his dear wife. Lin Chen noticed the girl standing behind Yi Ning Han and pointed his finger at them and asked the girl if they were her friends. Yi Ning Han said that her distant relatives had come from the village and ordered Yun Shuang and Xing Yun to come up to her and greet the guy. The girls thought why this guy called their captain dear, they didn't know what to answer if he asked them where they were from. Ling Chen told the sisters that his name was Ling Chen and he was Yi Ning Han's husband and they even had certificates of their wedding. The girls thought that this was really the same guy the captain was talking about and they imagined this guy completely differently. The girls smiled at Ling Chen and greeted their son-in-law and said that they were very glad to meet such a cool guy. Ling Chen told the girls that he had something to talk to them about and asked them to go to their room and continue the conversation there. Ling Chen just stood aside and chatted nicely with the girls, at that very moment, Yi Ning Han thought that he should under no circumstances enter their room. Yi Ning Han immediately approached Ling Chen and told him that she had not yet decided for sure whether she would stay there overnight and asked him to continue the conversation outside. But then the next door suddenly opened, this was Ning Han's current target, a girl named Le Shui. she asked Ning Han why she returned home so late. Yi Ning Han was excited by the appearance of Le Shui and thought that she should not find out anything unnecessary about what she does and what relationships she is in. Yi Ning Han quickly pushed them into her room and told little sister Le Shui that it was her two sisters and the guy she had recently started dating. Yi Ning Han immediately went into her room and wished little sister Le Shui a good evening and said that they would continue the conversation tomorrow. Yi Ning Han quickly slammed the door in front of her and Le Shui thought that maybe she had a boyfriend too, because she wanted to introduce her to a young man. Yi Ning Han, after closing the door, looked through the peephole to see what Le Shui was doing, Ling Chen looked at the girl's actions and thought that his sweetheart had an interesting hobby. Yi Ning Han's relatives asked the guy not to be surprised and told Ling Chen that this was her work habit and she always did this in her free time. Yi Ning Han finally calmed down and thought that she was very lucky and this time she was not declassified and their special operation almost failed. Yi Ning Han said that it all happened thanks to that idiot Ling Chen and suddenly, not finding him, she asked the girls where he had gone, they said he went to the bedroom. Ling Chen admired the clothes that were in the bedroom, Yi Ning Han got angry and called him a cretin and asked what he was doing there and did he really have nothing to do? Meanwhile, Ling Chen looked at the clothes in the closet with cartoon characters and wondered if his beloved really wore such children's clothes. Yi Ning Han was furious and was ready to finish the guy off because of his actions, and Ling Chen smiled at that moment and asked his dear wife if these were her clothes. But unexpectedly, Yi Ning Han quickly ran up and kicked the guy with all her strength and asked how he could go into the bedroom and look at things without her permission. After that, Yi Ning Han told the guy that today he would sleep on the sofa and affirmatively told the guy that he would not leave from there. Ling Chen raised his hand and said that he had a serious question for her and asked her what he should do if he wanted to go to the toilet. Yi Ning Han said that even for such actions he needed to ask her permission and finally slammed the door with all her might. Yun Shuang and Xing Yong wished their son-in-law good night and said that they were very pleased to meet you and said that they would continue their interesting conversation tomorrow. Ling Chen lay on the sofa and thought about his beloved, it seemed to him that his wife still had a lot of secrets that he didn't even know about. The next morning the girl woke up and the first thing she did was go to the restroom, she was sitting in the restroom and didn't even notice that at the same time Ling Chen was bathing in the bathroom. But suddenly hearing a man's voice, the girl got scared and realized that besides her, there was another person in the toilet who hid in the bathroom. The girl noticed Ling Chen and asked him why he didn't sleep on the sofa and what he was doing there, 
the guy said that he always took a cold shower in the morning to stay fresh all day. Ling Chen immediately covered himself with a curtain and the girl closed her eyes and asked the guy to immediately leave this room, the guy immediately agreed with her. But unexpectedly, when Ling Chen was leaving the bathroom, he slipped and quickly began to fall on the girl, she silently watched this out of despair. The girl started screaming loudly that Ling Chen was a goat and hearing these screams Yi Ning Han got scared and wondered what was happening there. Yi Ning Han and her relative quickly ran to the restroom and, opening the door, Yi Ning Han noticed that Ling Chen was lying on the girl, she asked him what happened. Yi Ning Han got angry at Ling Chen and called him an idiot, she demanded immediate explanations from him about what he was doing there with her relative. Ling Chen stood in bewilderment and told his sweet wife that he would explain everything to her in detail later and said that it was just a misunderstanding and an accident. And suddenly Yi Ning Han immediately hit the guy on the head with all her strength and said that more than anything in the world she hated perverts and that's why he got what he deserved. The girl asked her sister if Ling Chen was okay, Yi Ning Han said that he would not die, but simply lost consciousness for the whole morning and said that this would make their life a little easier for a while. And after that the girls left this room, Ling Chen lay on the floor and pretended to be passed out and quietly overheard their entire conversation. Ling Chen's face hurt a lot and he realized that his sweetheart had a very good blow, but he just laughed and said that it was just nothing for him. Meanwhile, at the Yushan company, the company manager asked all candidates for positions to wait in the waiting room and said that they themselves would call them. Ling Chen stood among the candidates and thought that his dear was the director of a department of this company, he had to get there but there were a lot of competitors there and he thought what to do. But suddenly Ling Chen noticed the manager of the Yushan company in front of him and drew attention to her badge and then suddenly a brilliant idea came to his mind. After that, five minutes later, Ling Chen came out to the candidates in a suit with the same badge and asked people to forgive them for the delay and said that there would be no interview and asked them to go home. All candidates left the room dissatisfied and said that the large company acted very irresponsibly, Ling Chen stood and was proud of himself for doing such a smart thing. But suddenly the manager of the Ping Phone Company appeared in the waiting room and said that they had prepared everything necessary for the interview and they were ready to accept people. But unexpectedly, she didn't see anyone in the waiting room and, surprised, asked Ling Chen where all the people had gone, Ling Chen said that everyone had something to do and that's why they all went home. The manager said that it was very strange because she had prepared everything for the candidates and, agreeing with the guy's words, told him to follow her. Meanwhile, Yi Ning Han asked the next person to go into the room, but suddenly Ling Chen walked in and greeted the girl, Yi Ning Han wondered why this asshole came there. Ling Chen brought his resume and said that his name was Ling Chen and he was a certified specialist who had worked in large European companies and had vast experience behind him. The people who conducted the selection thought that this guy was ideal for their company because he had experience in a well-known company and he was a very promising and talented guy. Yi Ning Han, in turn, thought that this idiot was very good and she should never have allowed him to get a job, she said sales talent was important to them. Yi Ning Han handed Ling Chen a pen and asked the guy to sell her the pen, she thought that he could say anything because she still wouldn't give in to him. The people conducting the interview thought that Yi Ning Han didn't like this guy very much and she deliberately made the interview difficult and thought that this guy had no chance. Ling Chen picked up the pen and began to carefully examine it, he was thinking about an answer that could amaze everyone present and so that they would not have any doubts about it. Ling Chen told the girl that first she must make sure that this pen really writes and asked if she could check it in front of him. Yi Ning Han asked the guy to give her a pen and after writing some words on a piece of paper, she told the guy that the pen writes beautifully and asked him to continue coming up with arguments. But suddenly Ling Chen said that why did he need to continue to convince her because he had already successfully finished and said that she was already using this pen. Yi Ning Han held a pen in her hand and didn't understand what happened, she was shocked at how quickly the guy came up with such a brilliant sales option. Yi Ning Han immediately stood up and hit the table with her palm with all her might, she got very angry and told Ling Chen that it was unfair because he just deceived her. Ling Chen asked that she didn't tell him to make sure that this pen ended up in her possession, and now she was using this pen and he didn't understand and asked her what the problem was. The people conducting the interview told director Yi Ning Han that she would no longer be able to challenge his candidacy because Ling Chen simply calmed down and cleverly solved the problem, it was talent. 
And suddenly the men began to fight and argue among themselves about who should get Ling Chen, they all needed such a smart and talented employee with great potential. Ling Chen looked at director Yi Ning Han and asked her if he passed the interview and said that he tried his best to impress her so that she would not have any doubts. Yi Ning Han quickly approached the guy and said that he didn't need to rejoice early because he still had to go through a probationary period, she said she wouldn't let him get a job at the company. Ling Chen asked his sweetheart if she wanted to argue with him and said that if in three months he could not make her fall in love with him, then she would never see him again, but if she loses. Yi Ning Han continued and said that if she loses, then she will live together with Ling Chen and they will have a real wedding and live happily ever after. They agreed and shook hands, they said that under no circumstances were they to violate the terms of their dispute and the rules could not be changed. After that, Yi Ning Han asked her work colleagues to stop arguing and said that he would be included in the 10th group, she said that he would receive 4,000 a month and would work for at least 3 months. Ling Chen thought that 4,000 was not enough because all his savings were kept by manager Qing and he was wondering where he could get the money from now. Lin Chen, after thinking a little, realized that it looked like he would have to return to his old job, because during all this time he had not lost the experience he had accumulated over the years. Meanwhile, Ling Chen went to the computer club and inserted the flash drive that he had been storing all this time into the computer in order to access his data. And when the flash drive was completely loaded, detailed information regarding Ling Chen appeared on the monitor, he studied all the data and documents in detail. And suddenly, when Ling Chen went to the notification folder, he noticed that he had received a new message from Yang's group, Ling Chen was happy to see a message from old acquaintances. Ling Chen read all the messages that his friends had sent him earlier, they asked him why he had disappeared for several months and whether everything was okay with him, and some even wanted to finish him off. Ling Chen, looking at all this, realized that his old acquaintances had not forgotten about him at all and all this time they had been sending him various messages with wishes or threats. Ling Chen thought that he needed to earn some money and so first he needed to find a suitable mission so that the difficulty level would suit his current form. The guy looked at all possible missions and came across a mission in which it was said that the customer needed a man with a strong physique and the salary was $20,000 a month. Ling Chen looked carefully at this mission and realized that it was ideal for him and he could remember his past achievements and return to his former condition. And his task was to limit the freedom of the chairman of the Su Wu Guild of the city of Tianhai, the girl Qinya, she owned many enterprises and companies, one of which was a watch pub. Ling Chen became very interested in this task and remembered the one-hour pub that he managed to visit in the distant past and he knew this place very well. Meanwhile, night fell and Ling Chen prepared well for this task and arrived at the hour-long pub in a stylish expensive suit and very prepared. Ling Chen sat in this establishment and carefully looked at every person in this place, he realized that the hour pub was quite a busy place. Ling Chen noticed one very suspicious man and thought that he was either a cold-blooded killer or also a member of Yongbin. The mysterious girl who was sitting in the northwest of the establishment also looked quite suspicious and Ling Chen thought that she also needed to be followed a little. And on the second floor of this establishment there were three men, they constantly looked down and Ling Chen thought that they were also from the Yongbin group. Ling Chen stood behind the bar and sipped some strong drinks, he was very interested because there he saw so many enemies and very few friends. But suddenly a girl approached the bar and asked the bartender to make her a Bloody Mary cocktail, Ling Chen thought that what a beautiful girl she was and it was good that his wife was not next to him. But suddenly Ling Chen noticed a familiar ring on the girl's hand, he looked closely at the ring and, having carefully studied it, realized that the girl was a member of the Shirchio Guild. Ling Chen thought that he needed to tease this girl a little and began to slowly but decisively approach her, completely confident in his abilities. Ling Chen approached the beautiful girl and quietly whispered in her ear and asked and the members of the Shirchio group carried out third-rank missions. The girl was very surprised because she was wondering how it knew about this and whether she had really given herself away in some way, the girl found herself in an awkward position. But the girl pretended that she did not understand Ling Chen's words and told the young man that he had a very interesting greeting. But Ling Chen looked at her with a stern look and said that he didn't want to complicate things and asked her not to interfere with Qin Ya's mission and told her to get out of Tian Hai City. The girl looked at the guy with a helpless look and thought that Ling Chen was a very evil and frightening man, she wondered who he really was. 
but suddenly the girl took out a butterfly knife and said that she didn't give a damn about all the words that this guy would say to her because she wanted to attack him first. Suddenly, the girl swung with all her might towards the guy, and she did this with the intention of finishing off Ling Chen for his prank. But Ling Chen just looked at the girl and smiled, he didn't feel any danger and asked the girl who taught her how to use a knife. Meanwhile, outside the bar, Yi Ning Han was telling the girls about their plan. They were supposed to get information from Qinya and then finish off Guo Bao and today they wanted to investigate. Meanwhile, inside the bar, the girl continued to attack the guy but could not hit him because Ling Chen instantly dodged all her blows. And suddenly, after another blow, Ling Chen grabbed her hand and blocked her blow, the girl couldn't believe it because she trained with this knife for three years and he stopped the blow with one movement. And suddenly Ling Chen hugged the girl and asked her how long she had been training with Qing, because it was not difficult for him to cope with her blows. The girl got nervous and asked the guy who he was because he fought well and defended himself very well during the battle and how did he know Qing. Ling Chen immediately released this girl and said that his skills should speak for him and she should have long ago guessed who he was. And suddenly Ling Chen took the weapon away from the girl and began to quickly twirl the butterfly knife and began to show unusual tricks with the help of this knife. The girl was shocked by the whole spectacle she saw and asked the guy how he handled the butterfly knife so skillfully and asked if he was a hired killer. But suddenly Ling Chen covered the girl's mouth and asked her to speak a little quieter because there were too many people there and said that they would talk about it a little later. But suddenly he had a premonition and he realized that his affairs were bad because he felt that something deadly and terrible was approaching him. And suddenly Yi Ning Han appeared in front of him and told Ling Chen that he was playing very well, the guy told his darling that he would explain everything to her thoroughly. Yi Ning Han asked the guy how isn't he ashamed to do such things and said that even all his clothes were sweating and what a shame it is. Yi Ning Han began to angrily chase after the guy, Ling Chen ran away from her in a hurry and told his sweet wife that he would explain everything to her next time and said that it was time for him to go. After that, Ling Chen quickly ran out to the parking lot and thought about how unlucky he was because he didn't think that he would meet his beloved wife in this establishment. It seemed to Ling Chen that his beloved often visited this particular establishment and thought maybe she had some other goals in this bar and he ruined their mission with his presence. But at that moment, the same girl from the bar suddenly appeared in front of him and said that she was very glad to meet the guy, the girl's name was Shan Shan and she said that she met her idol. Ling Chen was very scared by her sudden appearance and thought that this strange girl appeared there out of nowhere and it seemed like she had been chasing him all this time. Ling Chen asked Shan Shan why she came there because all this time he thought that Shi Qiu was taking on at least missions of a more complex level and asked if they had become weaker than before. Shan Shan said that after Ling Chen left, Shi Qiu was divided into two camps, the conservatives Bao Qiu, led by Sister Qing, and the radicals Jin, led by Peak. Ling Chen listened to her carefully and she said that some time ago Peak found out that Chinatown treasure had appeared and many people were sent there and Sister Qing began to suspect and sent her to spy on Qing Ya. Ling Chen listened to her story to the end and said that this bar was very dangerous and ordered Shan Shan to go back and tell Sister Qing that they should no longer go there. But suddenly, at that very moment, someone started shooting at Ling Chen with a sniper rifle while on the roof of a high-rise building that was located not far from the parking lot. Ling Chen was seriously frightened by the unexpected shot and ordered Shan Shan to quickly lie down on the floor and take cover behind a nearby car to avoid being hit by bullets. They quickly lay down on the ground and Shan Shan was perplexed and asked Ling Chen who could have done this and did he really have enemies that he didn't know about? The man continued to shoot non-stop towards Ling Chen and was very upset that this bastard ruined the entire planned mission. Li Chen looked at the trajectories of the flying bullets and realized that the person who shot was clearly aiming at him and asked Shan Shan if she had any weapons. Shan Shan gave the guy a pistol and said that their enemy had a sniper rifle and the distance to him was about 300 meters and asked if this could really help them, Ling Chen said that he can handle it. Ling Chen stood behind the car with a pistol in his hands and thought that at such a distance only his previously learned skill could help him. And suddenly Ling Chen came out of hiding and began to take aim at the man who was shooting, and with a grin, he said goodbye to this man in advance and said that his time had come to an end. 
The man who shot smiled and said that this stupid boy himself went out to his certain death and now he has no chance of survival left. And when the sniper shot at Ling Chen, in response to this action, he fired three return shots from a pistol along the trajectory of the flying bullet, Ling Chen's bullets stopped the sniper's bullets and began to fly towards him. Shan Shan looked at all this with delight and realized that Ling Chen used the skill of the god of murder and fired three fatal shots at the enemy. Ling Chen's bullets merged into a single hole and looking at this action he could not believe his eyes and he could not imagine that this was even possible. Ling Chen watched this enthusiastically and said that his bullets hit the target, Ling Chen was famous for his triple shot skill because his bullets always reached the target. The bullet hit the shooter right in the hand and he informed all his comrades that a very talented shooting master was outside. Ling Chen told the girl that the people who shot had left and were now completely safe, but they still needed to be prepared for the next attack. The guy told Shan Shan to come out of hiding and she realized that they had finally escaped from a dangerous killer and the girl finally managed to calm down. Shan Shan ran to Ling Chen and suddenly hugged him and thanked him and told the god of murder that he was the best guy on the entire planet and the most accurate shooter. Ling Chen thanked the girl and said that next time she needed to be very careful during the mission and she should always look around so as not to get into a detailed situation. Shan Shan was embarrassed and asked the guy for forgiveness and said that next time she would correct herself and do everything according to his instructions. Ling Chen answered the girl and said that nothing bad happened but she was discovered and now she was also in danger, so the guy advised her to leave there as soon as possible. But suddenly Shan Shan grabbed the guy and told him to wait, she said that Sister Ching told her that if any problems arise, she can turn to the god of murder. Shan Shan did not want to let the guy go and said that he could not leave her in trouble and must definitely help her because he was a man of honor and could not leave the girl alone. And then suddenly Ling Chen heard familiar footsteps approaching in his direction, and suddenly his beloved and only wife Yi Ning Han approached the guy. Yi Ning Han looked at the guy menacingly and asked if he was such a pervert and how could he stand in an embrace with another girl and how wasn't he ashamed. Ling Chen could not move from excitement and after thinking a little, he answered his wife and said that she had misunderstood everything and it was just a huge misunderstanding. Shan Shan whispered in his ear and told the god of murder that it seems his wife misunderstood everything about their relationship and said that she didn't do it on purpose. Ling Chen asked his sweetheart not to worry and said that now he would explain everything to her thoroughly and began to slowly approach his wise wife who was ready to finish him off. Yi Ning Han pushed him and told him not to call him his wife and said that he was disgracing her and she would not tolerate such shame and if he wanted to flirt with girls then he should have done it somewhere else. Ling Chen asked his girlfriend not to make hasty conclusions and asked her to listen to him and said that she understood everything wrong and he only loved her. And then suddenly Shan Shan intervened in their conversation and told Yi Ning Han that there was nothing between them and she hugged him only because she admired him very much and nothing more. Ling Chen told Shan Shan that it was better for her not to interfere in their conversation and just keep quiet and stand quietly on the side, Yi Ning Han also told her to shut up. Yi Ning Han called Ling Chen an asshole and didn't even want to hear excuses from this girl, Ling Chen asked what he told her because everything he said earlier was the complete truth. Yi Ning Han began to leave from there and Ling Chen lay on the ground and asked his beloved to stay and said that everything was not as she thought. And suddenly at this moment, Yi Ning Han's phone rang, director Chiao called her and wanted to see Ling Chen, she told him that she would immediately bring him to him. Yi Ning Han ordered the guy to stand up and said that he would go with her right away, Ling Chen didn't understand what happened and why she called him with her. Yi Ning Han told the guy that Mr. Xiao, the CEO of the Yushan company, wanted to meet with him and he understood that he could not avoid this meeting. Li Chen said that he was just a trainee and why did the director of such a powerful company want to see him, he was wondering what the director wanted to talk to him about. Shan Shan looked at all this and thought that Yi Ning Han was a very powerful woman because she was even able to force the god of murder to obey her and she had to report this to Sister Ching. Meanwhile, at the Yushan Hotel, Le Shui was sitting in her room with a man, the man asked if her friend Yi Ning Han was living with her new friend at her house. Le Shui said that she saw with her own eyes how he came into her room, but she never heard Yi Ning Han tell her about her boyfriend. The man asked Le Shui to wait for him to come to her next time and argue some things with her, and asked her to help the deputy director a little. The deputy director thought that in less than two years, 
Yi Ning Han managed to become a director and he wondered who was behind her. Meanwhile, Yi Ning Han was telling Ling Chen that she didn't have a boyfriend, so he was interested in the director and that's why he wanted to meet and see what her boyfriend was like. Ling Chen said that he understood everything and asked the girl to relax and said that he would do everything right and she would definitely not be ashamed of such a groom. Yi Ning Han wanted to open the door and asked the guy not to let him know anything and said that they had just met and there was nothing between them. But suddenly Ling Chen approached her and asked why they had to keep their relationship a secret and whether it was better not to hide their feelings and tell everyone about their love. Ling Chen looked carefully at Yi Ning Han and said that it seemed that his sweetheart was hiding something from him and keeping some secrets in a terrible secret. But unexpectedly, when Ling Chen leaned on the door, it opened by itself and he flew into the room, he thought why did this door open so suddenly on its own. Ling Chen fell straight into the very room in which the man and Le Shui were sitting, the man asked Ling Chen to be careful and Le Shui got scared and asked who this guy was. Ling Chen immediately stood up and introduced himself to the people and said that his name was Ling Chen and he was a friend of Ning Han and he was very pleased to meet them. Yi Ning Han hid her face with her hand in shame and thought that what a dumbass her beloved boyfriend Ling Chen was and he always did something stupid. The man stood up and greeted Ling Chen with a smile and said that he appeared there very unusually and impressively and thereby surprised them very much. Le Shui added and said that it was not just unusual and she suggested that it was the first time that director Chiao had seen such an appearance of guests and was very surprised. Yi Ning Han pulled Ling Chen by the ears for his action and asked director Chiao if he was not expecting guests there and why they were sitting there only together with Le Shui. Director Chiao put out his cigarette, told them that the guests were coming soon and asked Yi Ning Han how her boyfriend, whom she so stubbornly hid from everyone, was doing. Yi Ning Han thought and it seemed to her that Mr. Yushan had already begun to suspect something and she needed to find a way to quickly get Ling Chen out of there. Yi Ning Han smiled and told director Chiao that she was not hiding anyone because Ling Chen had just come here and didn't really have time to meet anyone. Ling Chen smiled and looked at him and told director Chiao that he was very polite to him and said that in fact he worked for him and he would give his best. Director Chiao was surprised and asked Ling Chen if he really worked for him because he had not yet been informed that they had an employee named Ling Chen working for them. Yi Ning Han said that he was hired today for a probationary position at Yushan Company and thought that this fool Ling Chen did not know how to keep his mouth shut at all. Director Chiao said that this was great because only the most talented people worked in their company, and apparently Ling Chen was also a promising employee. Mr. Chiao started asking Ling Chen a lot of questions, he asked him how he knew Yi Ning Han and when they were going to get married and how many children he wanted and so on. Yi Ning Han realized that Yushan began to test Ling Chen and in her heart she hoped that Ling Chen would not say anything unnecessary to him and would not spill the beans about their wedding. Ling Chen thought for a moment and answered Mr. Chiao, he said that he did not have any special advantages and was not that rich and successful person. Ling Chen said that Yi Ning Han fell in love with him because of his amazing beauty, he said that many girls wanted to marry him but he chose the one and only beauty. But suddenly Yi Ning Han ran up to him and covered his mouth with her hand, she asked director Chiao to ignore Ling Chen's words and said that he was just joking. Yi Ning Han angrily told Ling Chen that if he continues to wag his tongue, he better get out of there, Ling Chen promised that he would not say a word again. Director Chiao looked at all this and thought that it looked like Ning Han was helping Ling Chen with everything, Le Shui was also surprised and did not understand how she could like such guys. Mr. Chiao intervened in the conflict between Ning Han and Ling Chen and asked them to sit down and said that the guest was supposed to arrive any minute. Yi Ning Han was surprised and thought that they could really easily deceive a person like Director Chiao, because he was distrustful and could always recognize deception. Director Chiao intrigued them and said that the most interesting was yet to come and they had to be prepared for any surprises and always be on the alert. And suddenly, at that same second, an elderly man and a girl with their bodyguards entered the room, this was Qin Ya and Ling Chen thought that he was looking for her and in the end she came to him herself. Director Chiao greeted Mr. Gao and said that they had not seen each other for a long time and he was in excellent shape, Mr. Gao said that he was already very old and could not compare with him. Qin Ya looked at Ling Chen and asked Director Chiao if he had made new friends and asked him to introduce new friends to them. Mr. 
Xiao said that he would be happy to introduce his friends to them and said that the deputy of the company was behind him and her boyfriend was standing next to her. They sat down to dinner and Mr. Guo said that he would take care of the minerals of Kunluan Mountain and asked Xiao to keep him updated on the news, Mr. Xiao told Gul that he was a pleasure to deal with. Mr. Xiao was happy about this event and asked the waiter to bring them food because they were supposed to celebrate such an important event and the friendship between them. The waiter brought them very tasty dishes, they were all waiting for the waiters to start setting the table and finally feed them because they were hungry during this time. Ling Chen looked at the waiter and realized that there was something wrong with him, because he behaved very strangely and did not at all look like an ordinary waiter. And suddenly the waiter, coming closer to the leaders, informed his people that the operation was beginning, Lin Chen was right in his guesses. And suddenly after that the light in the room turned off, Mr. Chao did not understand what was happening there and Qin Yit screamed and asked for help. The guard said that something was wrong and they had to protect Princess Qin Yit but suddenly shots rang out and the guards fell to the floor. But suddenly after the light turned on, Yi Ning Han and Le Shui were shocked because she did not find Qin Yit in the room, she was surprised because where could she have gone? Meanwhile, that same waiter was dragging Qin Yit in a cart and told his people that everything went well and Princess Qin Yit was with them. Yi Ning Han asked all the people in that room to stop that waiter now and not let him escape with the girl. But suddenly at this moment, Ling Chen took Yi Ning Han's hand, she was surprised and asked the guy what he was doing, Ling Chen asked her not to worry. Ling Chen, while drinking wine, asked Yi Ning Han to sit down and watch the performance that was about to begin, the girl didn't understand what he was talking about. Ling Chen put down his wine and said that it was just a game and the way these people did it could be done by every person and he will now solve this problem. And suddenly Ling Chen started screaming and asked him to call the police and report the kidnapping, Yi Ning Han didn't understand what he was doing and why he behaved this way. The guy's screams could be heard throughout the hotel, Ling Chen asked to save him and asked someone for help, he shouted that someone had been kidnapped by bandits. The guy didn't stop and fussed about it, Yi Ning Han got tired of this and asked Ling Chen why he did this and was he crazy? Director Chiao approached him and said that the police there were powerless and said that solving some problems requires the skills of special agents. Mr. Chiao told Yi Ning Han that she and her boyfriend could go home and said that he would try to solve this current problem on his own. After that, Lin Chen asked his wife if she liked his acting because everyone believed him, and Yi Ning Han at this time was thinking that Qin Ya and Guo Bao had a secret relationship and she had to find out the truth. Ling Chen kept talking to his beloved wife about everything, but she told him to go ahead and said that she was very busy and still had unfinished work. But suddenly Ling Chen blocked her path and her car and asked her to stand and finally listen to her official and beloved husband. Ling Chen asked his sweetheart if she really wanted to find Qin Ya and asked the girl not to worry and said that Qin Ya was safe and nothing would happen to her. But suddenly Yi Ning Han ran out of patience and pushed Ling Chen and told him that he was a talker whom she had never met and told him to get out of there. But suddenly Ling Chen came up and hugged her and said that if she saves Qin Ya today, she will never be able to work for Yushan Company again. Yi Ning Han was very surprised and asked the guy what he wanted to tell her and told him to speak straight and tell her the whole truth. Ling Chen took a cigarette out of his pocket and, lighting it, told his stupid wife that he would now explain everything to her in detail since she was still in the dark. Ling Chen said to Yi Ning Han that she really still didn't understand that today's kidnapping was just a show put on by Qin Ya herself. Yi Ning Han listened to all this and couldn't believe it, she thought that the guy was talking some kind of nonsense and these were just his guesses that were not supported by facts. Ling Chen said that firstly, there was no light in the room for only 10 seconds and the kidnappers would not have been able to take Qin Ya away on a cart in such a short period of time. And secondly, Qin Ya was not the weakest girl, and even though she was caught by surprise in the dark, why didn't she resist, and even more so, it didn't look like there was a massacre taking place in the room. And finally, thirdly, Yushan and Mr. Gao behaved too calmly and it seems they also guessed who really did it. Yi Ning Han, after listening to all his guesses, realized that this was Yushan's plan and he planned all this because he wanted to reveal her true identity. Ling Chen asked his sweetheart not to think about it and advised her to go home and get a good night's sleep after such a hard day at work. Yi Ning Han asked the guy how he understood all this, she thought that in a short time, 
Ling Chen was able to think and predict many things and thought that maybe this guy really was a super mercenary. Ling Chen told the girl that he had already told her everything and it was her decision to believe him or not, and suddenly at that moment a car began to drive up to them. Shan Shan suddenly got out of the car and told Ling Chen that she had decided to follow him and said that he would definitely need her help. Yi Ning Han looked at the girl and thought why did she come there because she didn't really like Shan Shan because of the event that happened a little earlier. Ling Chen said that she did the right thing by coming there and said that now he needed her help and she came to him on time. Ling Chen said goodbye to his beloved wife and asked her to return home alone and said that he would also try to get free early and visit her. Ling Chen got into Shan Shan's car and finally said goodbye to Yi Ning Han and told her that he had one unfinished job that he needed to deal with. Yi Ning Han was furious at this guy's behavior and said that he only needed girls without whom he could not even live for at least one hour and told him to get out of there. Shan Shan asked the god of murder where they would go and he told her to go to Qin Ya's secret base to kidnap her, the girl was happy and increased her speed. Meanwhile, Qin Ya was sitting at the monitor and said that it seemed like there were a lot of curious smart people who were trying to search her at any cost. And then a man approached Chinya and told her that earlier he had started a rumor that she was in this place and it seemed like it really worked. Chinya said that the more people who come, the better, and hitting the table with her fist, she said that everyone who wished her harm should have died immediately. Meanwhile, Ling Chen, dressed in a waiter's suit, walked along the corridor and thought that the stupid director's plan had been revealed, he thought that their basic skills were very poor and how could they become mercenaries. Ling Chen looked at the huge mansion in the distance and wondered if this was Qin Ya's secret base and realized where the rich people actually spent their money. Ling Chen thought that it was possible that Qin Ya could be in this mansion and he had to figure out a way to get there without being seen by the guards. But suddenly a girl appeared behind him and told the waiter that she needed a rest, she was a little drunk and asked the guy to take her in his arms because she was losing her balance and could not stand on her feet. Ling Chen told the miss that he would do what she wanted and noticing the surveillance camera, he realized that someone could be watching him and he would not allow himself to fail the operation. Ling Chen carried the girl in his arms and thought that there was nothing wrong with it because he just needed to find her room and leave her there. But suddenly the girl began to say that she would not marry him and would find herself a groom, people passing by wondered why this guy was carrying sister Chinya in his arms. Ling Chen didn't understand what she was talking about because the girl kept saying that she would never marry this guy. Ling Chen assumed that this girl once had an unhappy love and she could not forget about this tragedy and therefore repeated it again and again. Ling Chen thought that it didn't matter and thought that he just needed to find Qin Ya, but suddenly the girl asked him to wait and stay with her. And suddenly the girl kissed him and started flirting with him, Ling Chen was very happy because he didn't think that such a love affair could arise during the mission. And suddenly, at the most inopportune moment, many people burst into the room and asked Miss where she had gone because they could not find her, Ling Chen realized that he was unlucky. Ling Chen made excuses to the guards and said that he was just helping her sit down and asked the guys to believe him because he was telling them the truth. But the guards did not listen to him and ordered him to be taken, they told the pervert that how dare he pester a cute girl and was he really so brave that he was tired of living? The guards began to beat Ling Chen with the entire crowd as hard as they could, and finally they said that they would take him to the master and let her decide what to do with him next. In the end, the guards tied up poor Ling Chen and said that he resisted well and said that despite this they would now take him to their master. Ling Chen was very happy about this because everything was going according to his plan and thought that it was perfect because without much effort he could find out where Qin Ya was. Meanwhile, Qin Ya looked at the monitor and saw that this stupid guy had already been caught and ordered her people to quickly bring him to her for personal interrogation. The guards brought Ling Chen to the master and said that they brought her the same waiter who molested her sister and said that she herself could figure out what to do with him next. Qin I asked who had the audacity to offend her beloved sister and said that she would immediately deal with this pest. The guards told Qin Ya that they tried to stop this guy until the last minute, but he still managed to kiss her sister and did not stop pestering her. Qin Ya got angry and hit the table with her fist and said how could he do this and did he really lose all fear and order his people to cut out his tongue for this act. The guards wanted to carry out this order, but suddenly Ling Chen told Master Qin that she was so hot-tempered that she didn't even give him a chance to explain everything to her. The guards asked the guy if he really worked for the Yushan company, 
Qinya was very surprised and asked Ling Chen if it was him because she didn't expect to see him there. Ling Chen said that Sister Qinya was very drunk and he took her to rest and she forcibly kissed him and asked if she really thought that he would molest her. Qin I thought that this guy was definitely not a waiter and he was sent for her, she thought about what this guy really needed and what his intentions were. Qinya thought for a while and ordered her men to surround this guy and, without taking their eyes off him, observe all his actions for the sake of safety. The subordinates told her that the guy was already tied up and he was not dangerous, they thought that their master was too cautious and overestimated the capabilities of this guy. But at that very second, unexpectedly, Ling Chen burst out of there and said that Miss Chinya had very good eyesight, but he added that despite this, it was already too late. The subordinates froze in place in surprise and could not believe that this guy tore the rope with his bare hands and thought that he was too strong and they were in trouble. Chinya told her subordinates that they should stop standing still and told them to immediately grab this guy and they all attacked Ling Chen in a crowd. Ling Chen thought that these guys were too weak for him and suddenly began to break and demolish all the strong guards one by one and did not give them any chance in battle. Ling Chen quickly dealt with all the guards and knocked everyone out, he said that three animal skills were enough for him to deal with these tough guys. Qin looking at all this, I thought that the guy needed less than a minute to beat her subordinates, she was wondering who he was and if he could work for her it would be great. Qin Ya told her subordinate that she was now very interested in this guy and asked Yang Ling to stay in the room and told the others to leave there and said that they had unresolved issues. As soon as the subordinates left Qin Ya's room, I asked Mr. Ling Chen to explain why he came there and what he really needed. Ling Chen said that Qin Ya was a very smart woman, so he wanted to tell her everything directly, Ling Chen said that he will not invent anything and will tell everything as it is. Ling Chen smiled and said that he had only one purpose for appearing there and said that this purpose was to kidnap her, Qian Shui clearly did not expect such an answer. Qin Ya asked if Ling Chen really needed money and immediately ordered Yang Ling to bring that same case, Yang Ling agreed and instantly fulfilled her wish. Qin Ya opened the case and it was full of money, she told Ling Chen that there were five million there and told the guy to take the money and leave and she hoped that they would not see him again. But Ling Chen said that he was not interested in this money and added that he never failed his mission and always completed the job he started. But suddenly, Ong Ling immediately took out a gun and pointed it at Ling Chen, he told his master that she didn't need to waste time on this guy and told Ling Chen that he could fight but he couldn't be faster than a bullet. Qin Ya told Yang Ling to put away the gun and said that there was no need to make hasty conclusions about this guy, Ling Chen smiled and said that it was getting very hot there. But unexpectedly, at the same moment, Ling Chen quickly walked towards Yang Ling, Ong Ling was shocked that this guy was so fast, Ling Chen hit Yang Ling with all his might. Suddenly, Ling Chen picked up Yang Ling's gun and pointed it at Qin, I told her to stand still and said that he hates people who threaten him and such situations always end very tragically. Qin Ya asked Ling Chen not to get excited and calm down, and said that everything can be solved with words, Yang Ling told him to lower the gun and not do anything he would regret in the future. But Ling Chen said that he wasn't getting excited right now, but rather was very calm, and unexpectedly after these words, he instantly fired in the direction of Qin Ya. Qin I thought that this was the end and Yang Ling asked Ling Chen why he did it, but suddenly at that moment a guy fell out of the ventilation who was holding a knife in his hand. The guy with the knife fell straight to the floor and asked Ling Chen how he figured him out, Qin Ya at that moment realized that she was not injured and remained safe and sound. Qin Ya thought about how this mercenary managed to get there and realized that if this guy had managed to get closer to her, she would not have had time to escape and it would have been the end for her. After this incident, Yang Ling sat down on one knee and asked his master for forgiveness, Lin Yan told her that he had been careless and now deserved to die for this act. Ling Chen was sitting on a chair at this time playing with a gun and told Yang Ling that this toy gun was very dangerous and in the future he needed to be more careful in using it. Qin I realized that Ling Chen was a very strong guy and told Yang Ling to leave them and said that she wanted to talk to Ling Chen alone, Ong Ling immediately agreed and left the premises. Qin Ya began to slowly approach the guy and Ling Chen looked at her with delighted eyes and realized that she was very beautiful, but he was very sorry that he was already married to another beauty. And suddenly Qin Ya threw the task file on the table and asked Mr. Lin if he wanted to complete this particular task, Ling Chen agreed with her and she said that it was she who created this mission. 
Ling Chen was shocked by this and asked the girl if she had created a mission of this level and he was very interested to know why she did it. Qin Ye said that he said everything correctly and said that the underground of Tian Hai City began to rebel and many people wished her harm and tried to harm her several times. She thought that instead of waiting for them to arrive, why not lure them all there herself and deal with all the problems in one fell swoop. Ling Chen listened to her carefully and realized that she was very smart, Qin Ye said that a mission of this level attracted strong mercenaries like him and she really didn't expect this. But suddenly Ling Chen said that he was not a mercenary and said that if she turned out to be a customer, then his mission was completed and asked her to just give him the money and said that he would leave from there. Qin Ye asked the guy not to rush and to listen to her first, she told Ling Chen that he would learn a lot of interesting things if he didn't leave and stayed there for a few minutes. Ling Chen was very surprised because what new could he hear from her? After all, he had already learned all the information and could not imagine what else she could tell him that would make him surprised. Qin Ye said that firstly, he returned to mercenary missions because he had problems and secondly, low resignation, he had a high position and if this were not so, he would not have been able to infiltrate there. She said that he was the boyfriend of the deputy director of the Yushan company but took on this mission for the money and it seemed to her that they had a very interesting relationship, she asked if she was right. Ling Chen thought that she understood everything correctly and, after thinking a little, asked Qin Ye what she needed from him and asked her to quickly voice the conditions. Qin Ye told the guy to calm down and slowly walked closer to him and said that she wanted to hire him forever until his death. Ling Chen was very surprised to hear such words and did not understand what she really meant, he asked how she wanted to hire him forever. Ling Chen thought carefully and told Mrs. Qin Ye that he couldn't do it and advised her to better get this idea out of her head forever. Qin Ye asked the guy not to rush to conclusions and offered him 200,000 a month and said that while she was alive he could earn this money until he was old. Ling Chen told her that this was a very good offer and, thanking her, refused the offer, he said that he didn't like being limited and asked to transfer money from the mission to his card. But unexpectedly, Qin Ye asked the guy to wait and told him that before leaving, he definitely had to watch this video that was filmed by her cameras. Ling Chen was very surprised and asked the girl what she really wanted to tell him and said that he clearly indicated to her that he would not agree to her proposal. But suddenly she showed him a video where he kissed her sister, Ling Chen stood in bewilderment and asked Qin Ye where she got this ill-fated video from. Qin Ye told brother Lin that his sister was a good girl and he kissed her and asked if he didn't want to be responsible for this act. Ling Chen was already tired of explaining the truth to her and said that actually this happened on the initiative of her sister and she didn't need to blame only him for everything. Qin Ye laughed and asked Ling Chen what would happen if his girlfriend saw this video and asked the guy if he really hoped that after that she would listen to him. Ling Chen remembered his past slaps from his beloved wife and realized that if she saw this video, everything would end very badly for him. Qin Ye said that he needs to accept her offer and then she will delete this video and, moreover, she could become his ideological inspirer and help him improve his relationship with the girl. Ling Chen agreed to her proposal but said that he would only appear and help her if her life was in danger and she had to keep his true identity a secret. Qin Ye agreed to his terms without any problems and said that she would not bother him over trifles, they agreed among themselves and eventually shook hands with each other. Meanwhile, Shan Shan climbed a tree and waited for the guy, she thought that the god of murder had been inside the building for too long and for some reason he couldn't be heard at all. But suddenly Shan Shan noticed that the guards were carrying a body out of the mansion, they said that their master had set an excellent trap for the mercenaries and in the end they could not get out of there. Shan Shan carefully heard the guards talking about mercenaries and thought that maybe the kidnapping of Qin Ye was just a bait and she was horrified because she thought that the god of murder had been finished off. Shan Shan decided that she had to save him at all costs, but suddenly at that moment she slipped and began to rapidly fall down towards the guards. The guards noticed that there was someone in the tree, they assumed that it might be a mercenary and decided that they needed to shoot him and not let him leave there alive. Shan Shan fell and called for help from the god of murder and hoped that a miracle would happen and she could survive in this hopeless situation, and then suddenly someone asked if this would ever end. And suddenly Ling Chen came out of the bushes and began to attack the shooting guards, Ling Chen easily dealt with these armed men and knocked them out completely. After that, Ling Chen quickly ran over and at the last moment picked up Shan Shan falling to the ground, 
the girl couldn't believe her eyes and was happy to see her idol. Ling Chen asked the girl if she was okay and if anything bad had happened to her, he asked Shan Shan why she exposed herself to the shots of these guys. Shan Shan hugged the guy tightly with tears in her eyes and said that she only wanted to help the god of murder because she thought that he had problems, Ling Chen asked her not to worry and said that everything was fine. The day after all these events, Ling Chen got to his home late at night and, out of fatigue, immediately fell onto the sofa and fell fast asleep there. Yi Ning Han stood in front of him and thought that judging by yesterday's news, Qin Ya was not kidnapped and Ling Chen did not fall into the hands of the enemy, and she was thinking about exchanging thoughts and information with him a little more. But suddenly Ling Chen had some dreams and, hugging the pillow, began kissing her and talking to the girl in his sleep, telling her that she was so beautiful and her lips were very tender. Yi Ning Han watched all this and got really angry, she thought that yesterday he had some kind of affair with a girl and instantly hit him in the face. Yi Ning Han told the guy that today was his first day at work and asked why he was still sleeping, she asked him why he came home late at night. Ling Chen sat hugging a pillow and asked his sweetheart to listen to him and said that recently the situation was very dangerous and he could not help but immediately react to it. Yi Ning Han asked him to calm down and said that she would give him five minutes to come to his senses and quickly get dressed in work clothes. Yi Ning Han's relatives told the guy that it was too late and they had to go and said that no one could give him a ride to work. Ling Chen told his sweetheart and her sisters that they could go safely, Yi Ning Han was surprised and asked if he really had a personal driver that she didn't know about. And suddenly at that moment there was a knock on the door and asked if brother Lin was at home, it was Shan Shan and she told Ning Han that she had come there to pick up brother Ling Chen. After that, Ling Chen went outside and thought how good the weather was today, he got into the car and told his sweetheart and her sisters that he was leaving and they didn't have to wait for him. Yi Ning Han's relative was shocked and wondered where her brother got a car with such a driver and was he really that successful, Yi Ning Han said that he is such a brat. And Ling Chen immediately left in a car and Yi Ning Han shouted after him that he did not value his beloved wife and said that he was an asshole and let him go to hell. Ling Chen told Shan Shan that she still needed to rent an apartment somewhere nearby so that she could take him to work every day and she could spend the rest of her time as she wanted. Shan Shan smiled and said that she obeys the god of murder and that his word is law for her and she must definitely carry out his instructions. The guy said that she could just call him Ling Chen, Shan Shan agreed and told the god of murder that from now on she would try to call him by his name. Meanwhile, Ling Chen arrived at Yushan company, he was very interested in how his first working day would go and what people he would meet today. Lin Chen met a girl and she said that her name was Dina and she was the head of the 10th group of marketers and said that she would be his leader and wished him good work. Lin Chen, while talking with the girl, thought that how could such a sweet girl become a leader and probably someone helped her a lot in the past. Dina told the guy that their advertising department was divided into 10 groups and the 10th group mainly specialized only in food and drinks. The girl said that Yushan Gourmet was a chain of restaurants that they were planning to create and said that after lunch she and he would go to the main restaurant of the chain and she wanted to show him everything. Dina brought him up to date and told the guy the information he needed, she showed him his workplace and said that they would meet later and discuss other details. Ling Chen thought that this office had a good atmosphere and its own aura, and he felt like a busier person there than when he worked as a mercenary. But suddenly Ling Chen ran into a man, Ling Chen immediately apologized to him and told him that he was a hillbilly and asked if he was blind, how dare he stand in his way. Ling Chen was surprised by this reaction and said that he had already apologized to him and asked the man why he shouted at him so much and it was impossible to solve this problem in a more peaceful way. And suddenly another employee approached Lin Chen and said that as soon as he looked at him, he immediately realized that he was new and said that the leader of the ninth group, Xiang Yi, was standing in front of him. Xiang Yi was very angry with the guy and said that he was a scoundrel and his screams were a trifle and said that if he wants and tells the management, he can be immediately fired from the Yushan company. And another employee advised Ling Chen to wise up and quickly get used to this company, because if he had not done this, he would not have survived in such a huge company. Ling Chen said that he was very intrigued and was interested to know how he could die in this company and said that this was his first day and he could do whatever he wanted. Xiang Yi was very angry and called Ling Chen an insolent person and asked how he could offend him like that, 
the rest of the people wondered who this new guy from the 10th group was and why he was quarreling with Xiang Yi. The employees talked among themselves about how this guy had not yet realized the power of Xiang Yi's influence and thought that if he continued to do this, it would be very difficult for him in the future. But the employee told his friends that they forgot, they forgot that the leader of the 10th group was Dina, and at that moment, Dina ran there and told Xiang Yi to keep her mouth shut. Dina told him that Ling Chen was a member of her 10th group and said that they would solve the problem themselves and do without his interference in their personal affairs. Lin Chen was very happy that his leader, this little girl, protected her staff in this way and thought that over time it became more and more interesting there. Xiang Yi smiled at the girl and asked Dina why she was yelling at him because of the new employee and added that maybe he was her old client. Dina told the scoundrel that he had a very dirty mouth and this territory was the tenth team and said that it was better for him to get out of there and not interfere with their work and minding their own business. Xiang Yi looked at the girl and thought that this leader Dina was such a confident girl that she could boldly stand up for her staff and protect them in any situation. Xiang Yi came closer to the girl and said that he forgot to tell her that his uncle was not the last person in the new collaboration and therefore if she said even one word incorrectly then. Dina asked him what he really wanted and asked him to tell the whole truth, Xiang Yi smiled and asked that doesn't she know what he wants? Xiang Yi said that tonight they will have dinner at his house and talk about life and have a good time, Dina asked what he was hinting at with these words. Xiang Yi came closer to her and asked her not to pretend and said that she herself understood everything perfectly well but did not want to realize it in any way. Xiang Yi whispered in the girl's ear and said that tonight they would have dinner at his house and after they talk about life, they might do some more dirty things. Xiang Yi smiled in her face and said that this door will open smoothly today, Dina asked him to stop saying such things and leave there in an amicable way and not pester her anymore. But then suddenly Ling Chen grabbed Xiang Yi's hand and asked her he was pulling his paws, Xiang Yi was in a lot of pain and asked the guy to let him go and called him a freak who interferes in other matters. Ling Chen said that how could he stand by when a scoundrel man offended a girl because it was very low on his part and he would have gotten what he deserved. Xiang Yi continued to scream in pain and asked the two employees why they stood there and did nothing and told them to quickly beat this impudent guy. The staff called Ling Chen an asshole and told him to take his hands off brother Yi, they said that if they strike once now, he will call Xiang Yi his daddy. But Ling Chen easily beat these two men without any problems and asked what they would call him from now on, the employees responded that they would now call him their daddy. Xiang Yi cried in pain and begged the guy to let him go and said that he would stop knocking on people like that and change for the better and called Ling Chen his daddy. Lich Chen suddenly smiled evilly and told Xiang Yi that he himself asked to let him go and ordered him to stand still and not retreat anywhere. Xiang Yi was very scared and asked the guy what he wanted to do with him. But suddenly Ling Chen shouted at him to get out of there and at the same second Ling Chen hit the scoundrel Xiang Yi with all his might and from such a strong blow he crashed into the wall standing behind him. Xiang Yi crashed into the wall, broke it and flew out into the street, Ling Chen thought what an idiot this man was and realized how patient people his colleagues were. The co-workers stood in shock and asked each other if this new guy really beat Xiang Yi himself and said that he was a fool because he had no idea what consequences this would lead to. Ling Chen apologized to Dina and said that he was too carried away and should not have really done that, Dina laughed and said that he did a good job and Xiang Yi should have been taught a lesson a long time ago. But Dina warned the guy and said that he needed to be more careful because his probationary period had not ended yet, so he needed to be more modest and fall for their tricks. Lin Chen asked the manager not to worry and said that he would definitely successfully complete the probationary period and get this desired job. Ling Chen confessed to the girl and said that he actually had connections at the top, but Dina thought that this guy really had such connections and did not believe him. Dina asked the guy not to think about this incident and advised him to have lunch and said that then they would go together to their main store. After that, they arrived together at their establishment, Dina told Ling Chen that this was the main restaurant of the Yushan Gourmet chain, the guy thought this place was very cool. Dina said that for now he could look around there and said that she should talk to the manager, Ling Chen agreed and began to carefully examine this establishment. The guy realized that there was a pleasant atmosphere and it was quite clean, he realized that such a large company bought itself the best place that could afford. 
and suddenly at that moment a beautiful car drove up to the restaurant with a beautiful girl sitting inside, Ling Chen thought it was perfect. Ling Chen carefully watched what kind of beauty would come out of this car, but suddenly Sister Qinya got out of the car and the employees greeted Director Qin. Ling Chen was shocked by her appearance, the girl stood with her workers and told them that she had come there to check how they were working. Ling Chen thought that this was not good, he was wondering why Qin Ya's sister Qin Nan came exactly there and what she really needed. Ling Chen realized that he needed to get out of there now and thought that if the girl recognized him, then he would not be able to avoid huge problems and a serious conversation with his wife. Qin Nan looked at the guy leaving and asked her people who it was and why he was hiding there, Ling Chen realized that he was unable to leave there without being noticed. The subordinates told Director Qin that he was an employee from the marketing department and his name was Ling Chen, hearing his name, Qin Nan said that it was a very familiar name. But unexpectedly, Ding's leader appeared in front of Ling Chen and asked the guy where he had gone and asked him to stay a little in this establishment. Dina asked him to go with her and said that she would introduce him to Vice Director Qin of one of the two sisters and said that he was very lucky because not everyone had such a chance, Ling Chen said that he was busy. Dina took the guy by the hand and began to drag him towards Qin Nan, he said that he really didn't want to meet with her and Dina replied that work would wait a couple of minutes and now she would introduce him to management. Dina brought Ling Chen to the Director Qin Nan and greeted her and said that it was their new employee Ling Chen but suddenly Qin Nan recognized the guy and got furious and asked him if it was him. Qin Nan was very surprised and asked the guy why he came there and what he really needed, she told the guy to answer her slowly. Ling Chen smiled and said that he came there to study and asked if Vice Principal Qin wanted to teach him something or give him a couple of lessons. Dina looked carefully at how they were talking to each other and thought that the Vice Director was already familiar with Ling Chen. Qin Nan smiled and told Dina that this was a long story and that they had already met Ling Chen earlier and then had a conversation with the guy. Vice Principal Qin Nan told Ling Chen with a stern look that he should have gone with her and they needed to talk in private without unnecessary witnesses. Ling Chen said that he had unfinished business, but the girl didn't care and dragged the guy away with her, employees watched all this and did not understand what was really happening. The employees said that every man dreamed of this because the vice director was known for the fact that none of the men could get close to her, and now she wanted to talk with him alone in the car. Ling Chen sat in the car and thought that how unlucky he was after all, he couldn't believe that this girl would turn out to be the vice director of the Yushan company and he would be caught. Qin Nan told the guy that when he arrived at the company, he should immediately apply for voluntary resignation and this was not even discussed. Ling Chen was shocked and asked why he had to quit because he hadn't even started work yet, but was only on probation. The girl told Ling Chen that he should not only resign but also leave this city so as not to catch her eye anymore and not spoil her nerves. Ling Chen smiled at the girl and asked her if she really threatened him and why she didn't want to see him because that evening she begged him to stay with her. Qin Ya told the guy that he could think as he wanted but she had to receive his resignation letter as soon as possible, otherwise he would not have been well. Ling Chen said that the women who threatened him ended up ending in two ways, the girl was surprised and asked the guy what he was talking about. Ling Chen said that they were either kneeling in front of him, she was begging him for mercy, or she was begging him to get closer to them and suddenly hugged the girl. Qin Nan was angry at the guy's impudence and called him a pervert, she told him to immediately go away from there and not to disturb her anymore. Vice President Qin Nan was angry and furious and thought that this guy was just a trainee from the sales department and she was wondering if she could destroy him. After that, Ling Chen returned to the restaurant and calmly sat and ate chicken legs without worrying about what had happened, he wasn't interested in this girl's threats. But suddenly Dina ran into the restaurant and told the guy that they had huge problems, she asked Ling Chen why he insulted Vice Director Qin. Ling Chen thought that this was a very quick revenge, Dina said that as soon as she fell asleep that problems might arise with the contract, she immediately said that Lin Chen would solve everything. Ling Chen calmly ate his food and asked Dina if that was all, Dina got angry and took the food out of his mouth and asked why he was so calm and said that if he couldn't solve everything, he would be fired from the company. Ling Chen asked his boss not to worry and said that he would solve everything and told her to just watch him at work, he called Shan Shan and told her to pick him up from there. 
Lin Chen and the girls arrived at one place and the guy showed the girl the building and asked Dina if this was the same store she was talking about. Dina said that there was a very good location and great traffic and all the problems started due to the intervention of Xiang Yi. And at that very second, Xiang Yi suddenly came out to them and greeted the leader Dina and kindly said that they had just arrived on time. Xiang Yi said that his uncle decided to entrust him with this cooperation and asked the guys if they really came to watch him sign the contract. Ling Chen was surprised by the appearance of an old acquaintance and asked if leader Xiang was also there and said that today they won't solve everything there once and for all. Leader Xiang Yi was very scared and asked Ling Chen what he was up to and said that if he hurt him again, he would immediately contact the police because he had great connections. Ling Chen just smiled in response and said that he didn't want to do anything with him, but just politely wanted to discuss work matters with him and nothing more. But suddenly Xiang Yi ran into this establishment and began to ask his uncle for help, Ling Chen went inside and said that there were a lot of people. Xiang Yi ran to his uncle and began to cry and ask him for help, he said that that asshole Ling Chen was beating him and he had to teach him a lesson. His uncle got angry and called the guy a goat and asked him how he dared to offend his nephew and was he really tired of living and ordered his brothers to go into battle with this arrogant guy. Dina hid behind Ling Chen and told him that they should leave there because there were too many of them, people told the freak that he was unlucky today and told the beauties that they would not touch them. Ling Chen asked the girls not to worry and said that he wouldn't even get pleasure if he beat these guys, he said that it wouldn't take him a lot of trouble to deal with these weaklings. The guys got angry at these words and told the goat that today they would teach him a lesson that he would never forget and began to attack him with bats. Ling Chen immediately ordered sister Shan Shan to engage these guys in battle, she answered him, didn't tell him that her sister was ready and started hitting these guys in the face. Shan Shan quickly dealt with everyone, Go Yu asked them if they dared to stand up against Mr. Ling Chen who was the god of murder. Xiang Yi and his uncle were very surprised, I didn't understand what happened there just now, because this girl was able to beat all his people in the blink of an eye and asked if she was really a girl. Shan Shan began to slowly approach Xiang Yi and asked Mr. Ling Chen what he would order her to do with these two gentlemen. Uncle Xiang Yi stood up and called Ling Chen his friend and said that let them assume that they had not seen each other and there was no conflict between them. Ling Chen asked him to stop talking and told him to sign the contract and said that then he would forget about their plans and would not interfere with them in the future. But suddenly Xiang Yi asked his uncle not to sign the contract and said that this guy was just a probationary trainee and if he put pressure on them, they would call the police. The uncle thought about his words and asked Ling Chen what he would do if he didn't sign the contract because he was very interested in learning about it. Ling Chen said that they were civilized people, what could he do, he said that he would politely talk to them because fighting and killing are not very good. Ling Chen gave Shan Shan's sister Qin's blood red silver hairpin and did not tell the guys that they should know about it or just show it to the new brothers so that they would be convinced that it was her. Shan Shan agreed with the guy and said that she would show them this without any problems and told them to stand still and said that she would come to them herself. Shan Shan came up to them and started tickling them non-stop and said what he meant about this hairpin, Xiang Yi cried and begged people to save him. As a result, Uncle Xiang Yi handed Dina the documents and said that they could calm down and stop doing various things because he had already signed the contract they wanted. Dina was delighted and thanked Mr. Xiang for this and added that she was very happy about their cooperation, Uncle Xiang said that he is also very happy. Ling Chen told the girl that next time she could do without fighting and killing, because she saw that a peaceful solution to the issue also sometimes works, Shan Shan said that she learned a lot from him. Dina asked Ling Chen what Xiang Yi's condition was, the guy asked her to relax and said that he would just need to sleep for one day and said that even if he called the police, they could not prove anything. Meanwhile, my uncle was saying that these people were real demons, Xiang Yi asked his uncle to avenge him and deal with these insolent people. Uncle Xiang Yi asked him not to worry and said that he had been living in this world for several days and no one had ever humiliated him like that and these people definitely had to get what they deserved. Meanwhile, Director Chiao was talking to Qinya on the phone and asked if she was telling the truth about Ling Chen and asked if she was sure about this. Director Chiao hung up the phone and said that Ling Chen is a top-class mercenary and decided that it looks like he should talk to Ling Chen again. 
Meanwhile, Ling Chen was sitting with Dina in her office and Dina said that she was very grateful to him for his actions today and said that she already did not doubt him. Ling Chen told the captain that these were small things and he was sure that he would learn a lot more new things from her, Dina asked the guy to indicate his name in the contract and said that then he would become an official employee. Ling Chen told the girl that everything was fine and he had his own people at the top, if she had problems, she could just tell him about it and he would solve her problems. Dina said that he always boasted about it, but suddenly people asked Dina to get up quickly, they told me that the boss was coming there, she wondered why he came there. Ling Chen thought that maybe the director had finally noticed his abilities and came to praise him and promote him, but the director entered the room with his army and Ling Chen realized that he was mistaken. Dina said that it looked like Mr. Yushan was there, she asked the guy to just listen and not say anything unnecessary, but Ling Chen asked her to relax and said that he had already had dinner with him. Dina greeted director Chiao and said she was very glad to see him, director Chiao wished them good work and said that this time he came to talk to one person. Everyone said that Chiao personally came there and thought that it seemed like he had some important business to do, but they were wondering who he was looking for after all, everyone in the company was ordinary employees. Dina greeted the director and asked Ling Chen why he was just standing still and told him to quickly bow to the director and greet him. Director Chiao greeted them kindly and asked Ling Chen if it was his first day at work and how he managed things and whether the job was difficult. Ling Chen said that he is slowly getting used to this work, Director Chiao said that if there were any problems, he could simply contact him and he could take any position in the company. All the employees looked at Ling Chen and wondered who this guy was and how he managed to get to know Director Chiao so closely, after all, he had not worked in the city for long. Dina was shocked and realized that Ling Chen had not deceived her in his acquaintances after all, but these were very serious connections and she could not even think about such connections. Director Chiao told Ling Chen that he was having a party today and asked the guy if he wanted to come over and have fun with them. The employees were surprised whether the director himself invited this guy and why he respected some in turn so much, they thought that it looks like they also need to make friends with Ling Chen and then maybe the director will notice them. Ling Chen asked Mr. Chiao when the party ended because if he had come home late, his wife would have caused him a serious scandal. Director Chiao told the guy to relax and said that he had already solved this problem for him and ordered his two vice directors to come out and say hello to Ling Chen. And suddenly Yi Ning Han and Qin Nan appeared in front of him, all the people thought that these were very beautiful girls and they were rarely seen together. Director Chiao told Lin Chen that Director Qin and Director Yi had done a lot for their company and asked the guy to get to know them better so that it would be easier to work in the future. Ling Chen thought that this could not be and he no longer wanted to have dinner, he just wanted to go to his home and take a break from all these affairs. Meanwhile, they were all sitting in the Yushan restaurant and Mr. Chiao asked Ling Chen to make himself at home and wished him bon appetit. But Ling Chen looked at the girls who were sitting on both sides of him and thought that in the company of these girls he could not eat anything and he lost his appetite. Director Chiao looked at Ling Chen intently and asked the guy if he liked these dishes, Lin Chen thanked the director and said that everything was at the highest level. Yi Ning Han sat and thought that today the main department of the Yushan company, the development department, would be arrested. Yi Ning Han kicked the guy on the leg and told him to follow her signs and act when she winked at him and not to let down his guard and always remain ready. Ling Chen completely misunderstood her and thought that his beloved wife was flirting with him and wanted to get some affectionate sensations from him. And at that moment, Ling Chen began to pester and flirt with the girl, Yi Ning Han called her a pervert and asked what he was thinking about and why he acted like a complete idiot. Yi Ning Han started pushing him and told him to remove his hands and not move, Ling Chen thought that his innocent wife liked such games, asked her not to worry and said that he understood her. Ling Chen took off his shoes and began to caress his beloved wife's feet, Yi Ning Han called him an asshole and wondered if this fool really thought that she was joking with him. The girl asked the idiot if he really didn't understand her hints and only at that moment did it dawn on Ling Chen that she wanted him to stop doing this. Ling Chen asked his sweetheart to relax and said that he wanted to play with her, she was so angry with him that she was ready to finish him off there and then without regret. Director Chiao and Qin Nan looked at them in surprise and did not understand what was happening between them, Director Chiao was shocked and asked them what happened. Yi Ning Han stood up and asked Director Chiao to forgive her and said that she urgently needed to get out of there and go get some fresh air. 
Director Chiao said that of course she could go out and asked if Ling Chen should go with her because he thought it would be calmer, she agreed and took the guy with her and said that he was finished. Director Chiao sat and told Qin Nan about how polite their youth were these days and they were very well educated people. Yi Ning Han quickly took him to her room and Ling Chen asked his beloved if she liked the way he played today, the girl said irritably that he really played well. And suddenly she raised her fist and said that now she would finish him off and hit him in the face with all her might, she was glad that the guy finally closed his mouth. Yi Ning Han continued to beat the poor guy and told him that he was only disgracing her in front of everyone and told him to shut up and not talk anything more at the table. Ling Chen said that he understood her and promised that now he will only be silent and will not talk about trifles and will not interfere with her. Yi Ning Han said that she had another job today and said that he should be a little later to drink wine with Director Chiao and go to a special bar. Ling Chen asked his sweetheart if he could go to such places, she said that he could go wherever he wanted because they were only married on paper and in life they were not real spouses. Ling Chen was very happy and told his dear wife that she was the coolest and kindest girl in the whole world and he was glad that he was married to her. Yi Ning Han asked the guy to simply follow her signals in the future and then act based on the current situations at his own discretion. Yi Ning Han told Ling Chen that once the operation to capture the crocodile was successfully completed, they would never see each other again. Ling Chen lit a cigarette and thought that his sweetheart really thought that she could deceive him and he thought that something very serious seemed to be planned today. Ling Chen immediately called his sister Shan Shan and asked her to help him because he needed to check some interesting information. After that, they returned to the table and director Chiao told brother Chen that sister Qin told him about his past and said that he had one request for him. Ling Chen smiled and told director Chiao that he could say anything because everyone was there, but the girls thought about what this guy was talking about and what he was making up. The girls stepped on Ling Chen's foot and the guy thought why were these girls so cruel and always hurt him and laughed at him. Director Chiao asked the guy if he wanted to join the career development department, in fact, the career development department was the main place for money laundering and if he had come to stop him, he would have refused the offer. Ling Chen asked the director if he really wanted to send him to the career development department because he had only recently gotten into the advertising department and felt great there. The director said that it was true and said that if he liked it in the TV commercial, then he could stay there, his words seemed sincere, so the director thought that he had not come there to interfere with him. Yi Ning Han wondered why director Chiao behaved so strangely and did Yu Shan really guess about the operation to capture the crocodile and wondered if there was a rat in her organization. Yi Ning Han asked Ling Chen to help her distract director Chiao from his subordinate, Ling Chen wondered if she really wanted to go somewhere. The guy asked for director Chiao and director Qin and said that he would have to leave them because he still had a lot of unfinished work to do. Ling Chen began to leave them and thought that his sweetheart clearly did not expect this and he asked his beloved wife to excuse him and said that he had gotten ahead of her. Yi Ning Han froze in surprise and didn't understand why Ling Chen didn't help her and what he was planning and did he really want to act on his own? Director Chiao said that brother Ling Chen left them very quickly and suggested that his work was probably very urgent and he could not be late there. Yi Ning Han thought that this couldn't be true, she needed to get out of there urgently, the girl told director Chiao that she suddenly remembered that she needed to pick up her clothes. And after that, she left the room in a hurry, the director laughed and realized that he and Ling Chen were definitely husband and wife, because they were both so nimble. And suddenly Qin Nan said that since two of the guests had left, she also could not stay with him, and she also left the restaurant in a hurry and ran out into the street. Ling Chen was waiting for his sister on the street and she came to him and said that she had been checking that information all day and she managed to find something. Shan Shan ordered Master Ling Chen to quickly get into the car and said that the investigation he told her about turned out to be very interesting and he had to check the information. Shan Shan said that Yu Shan's corporation was a front for laundering illegal money and the Snow Wolf organization was supposed to secretly infiltrate Yu Shan's corporation today. Shan Shan said that she sent him the place and time of the operation on his phone, Lin Chen turned on his phone and asked the girl if she had studied his wife's real documents. Shan Shan replied that she was only studying the fact that Yu Shan suddenly appeared in the city and besides this information she could not find anything. Lin Chen thought and came to the conclusion that his wife was actually an agent and thought that every day it became more and more interesting. Lin Chen remembered that when he and his wife first met, 
they gave out a little information about themselves, it turned out that they both gave false information to each other. And then suddenly Shan Shan told Master Ling Chen that the thing he needed, she took it and said that it was in the trunk. Shan Shan opened the trunk of the car and took out some kind of briefcase and threw it at Ling Chen and he barely managed to catch it and told his sister that she could be more careful with him. Ling Chen opened the briefcase and noticed a brand new pistol with cartridges to boot, Ling Chen's mood was lifted by such a familiar object. Ling Chen took out a gun and told his friend that they had not seen each other for so many years and said that today he would need his help, Shan Shan said that it looked very beautiful in his hands. Ling Chen thanked Shan Shan and said that now he needed her help and wanted her to do something for him, Shan Shan was very happy. Shan Shan asked the guy not to worry and said that for his sake she was ready to climb to the top of the mountain and go down to the bottom of the ocean and said that she would try her best. Shan Shan was glad that she finally had the opportunity to fight alongside Master Ling Chen and she needed to show her best side. But unexpectedly, Ling Chen asked his sister to keep an eye on his house, but for now he would sort out all the problems himself and return to thank her properly. Ling Chen immediately got into her car and immediately drove away from there and finally told the girl that he would finish everything very soon and return the car to her. Ling Chen was driving the car very quickly and thought that very soon his beloved wife was going to start acting and so he needed to hurry up. Meanwhile, Qi Nan followed Ling Chen and thought that he had gone somewhere at night and seemed to be definitely in trouble. Qi Nan thought that very soon she would find his weaknesses and in the end she would force him to leave this city as soon as possible. Lin Chen immediately noticed that some kind of rat was following him and the guy immediately turned the car in a different direction and disappeared from the girl. Qinya got out of her car and wondered where he could have gone because she had just seen with her own eyes that this scoundrel was driving in this direction. And suddenly Ling Chen jumped out from behind the girl and scared the girl very much, Lin Chen asked Vice Principal Qin Nan why she was following him. Ling Chen approached and asked Qin Nan if she really thought that just one kiss would be enough for him and said that he would kiss her until he got tired of it. Qin Nan brushed him off and told Ling Chen that he was a scumbag and asked who even allowed him to kiss her and do whatever he wanted. And suddenly Ling Chen noticed a killer with a bazooka aiming at him and the killer said that he would now finish everything once and for all and pay back for the previous failed operation. Ling Chen managed to push Qin Nan away at the last moment and then the killer fired a shot and a giant explosion thundered and they miraculously avoided being hit. Qin Nan was shocked and told Ling Chen that someone wanted to finish him off, while the guy was lying on the ground and was in great pain from the injuries he received. Ling Chen stood up and noticed that this shooting rat had already managed to escape from there, Qin Nan got scared and asked the guy what was happening there. Lin Chen told the vice director that it was better for her not to know about this and quickly walked to the car and said that he still had unfinished work. But Qin Nan suddenly stopped Lin Chen and said that it was her car and she would never allow a man to drive her car. Lin Chen said that if she said that, then he had only one thing to do and she wouldn't like it and began to slowly take off his belt. Qin Nan was scared and asked what he was going to do and said that if he came one more step closer to her, she would call the police. Ling Chen asked her to forgive him and said that he had urgent work and could not do anything, Qin Nan asked the guy not to touch her. And then, three minutes later, unexpectedly, Ling Chen tied Qin Nan up with his belt and threw her into the back seat of her own car, she rode with him. Lin Chen told Vice Principal Qin that it would be a little awkward for her to ride in the car in this position and asked the girl for forgiveness and told her to hold on tight. Meanwhile, Yi Ning Han and his team stood outside Yu Shan's mansion, Yi Ning Han asked her people if they were sure that all the enemies were inside the house. The girl said that she checked everything and they were all there, another girl added that they just needed to eliminate them so that Yu Shan would definitely collapse. Yi Ning Han said that everything was fine and told her comrades to begin the plan to catch the crocodile and they began to approach this mansion. Meanwhile, Boss Tang Wu was sitting in the house and asked if the rats had already begun to act, the subordinate told the boss that the camera outside showed that they had already surrounded their house. Tang Wu told his people that it was wonderful because the prey itself climbed right into their mouths, he told his men to hurry up and prepare a surprise for them. Tang Wu was delighted and said that he hoped that they would come there as a group, otherwise killing would not be enough for him and said that his weapon was thirsty for blood. 
Meanwhile, Yi Ning Han's men entered the house and said that everything was fine and in the end their enemies were just a bunch of bastards and their mission was not that difficult. They thought it was very strange because it was very quiet there and they said that they would continue to look for their target, but they thought there was some kind of catch in it. And suddenly one girl froze in place, her friend asked her why she stopped and asked if she had noticed enemies. But unexpectedly they discovered a grenade under their feet, the girls were very scared and said that their affairs were very bad and they needed to urgently return back. And then a huge explosion thundered and Yi Ning Han wondered what happened there, she asked the third group to answer her and report the situation, but no one answered her. Yi Ning Han said that the third group was attacked and the fifth group came under fire and one person was seriously injured, she asked someone to call for help. And then her comrades from the sixth group turned to her and said that they were surrounded and could not get out, finally, they asked their captain to take care of their families and switched off. The girls could not understand why this happened and everything did not go according to plan, they asked Captain Yi Ning Han what they needed to do and waited for the command. Yi Ning Han ordered all her people to retreat and said that the mission was a failure and all groups must get out of there now. Yi Ning Han realized that there was definitely a spy in their organization because there was no other way to explain the fact that the enemies were preparing for their arrival. And then suddenly Tang Wu came out to Yi Ning Han and asked if they were really getting ready to leave so quickly and didn't warn him and held her comrade in his hand. Her Captain Yi Ning Han pointed a gun at Tang Wu and ordered him to immediately release her comrade and said that otherwise he would regret that he was born. Tang Wu told Yi Ning Han to calm down and said that she could go to hell with that girl and threw her to the ground with all his might. Tang Wu ordered his men to surround them and capture them alive and said that if they surrendered to him now, he would make them happy later. Yi Ning Han ordered her people to escape and said that she would delay them, but her comrade said that they would leave there only with her. The girl stood shoulder to shoulder and defended themselves from the villains, the girl told her captain that she was almost out of ammunition, Yi Ning Han said that hers is almost empty too. Yi Ning Han asked her comrades to remember that they fought until the last bullet and said that they could not allow them to capture them. Yi Ning Han remembered Ling Chen and wondered why she had refused him for so long and said that they were destined to be together, then in the next life they would become husband and wife again. The Tang Wu guys realized that these girls were already at their limit and suddenly one of the guys jumped on Yi Ning Han with a knife in his hands and wanted to finish her off, she thought it was the end for her. But suddenly, at that very moment, someone shot at this guy and hit him right on target, someone miraculously saved Yi Ning Han from certain death. The girls didn't understand what happened and who shot this bandit, and Yi Ning Han thought maybe help had come to them. And then his subordinate ran to Tang Wu and told his boss that some scumbag suddenly shot at their brother from an ambush and they did not have time to react to his shot. And suddenly at that moment Ling Chen stood in the bushes and said that these bunch of worthless men were bullying the lovely ladies and said that it was too much. The bandits thought that who was this madman who dared to fight them alone and Tang Wu ordered his men to capture him alive and he wanted to personally punch him in the face. Tang Wu began to laugh and asked Ling Chen if he really thought that he could heroically save these beautiful ladies and asked if he really wanted to die. The girls asked their captain if the person who shot was a member of the backup team, Yi Ning Han said that she didn't know it either, but his figure seemed very familiar to her. Tang Wu ordered his men to stop talking and told his guys to finish this guy off and catch these women so he could punish them properly. All the bandits attacked Ling Chen and said that today he would die and he would be punished for his tailing and they promised that they would quickly deal with him. Ling Chen just smiled back at them and asked if they really wanted to die so much that they were heading towards their own death and shot at them with his skill. All the people present were shocked by this and Tang Wu's people realized that this guy finished off their colleagues in the blink of an eye and they didn't even have time to get close to him. Tang Wu realized that this guy had excellent shooting skills and asked his people if they were afraid of the guy and said that there were many of them and the guy was alone. They said that their boss said everything correctly and they should not have been afraid of him and they did not believe that he alone could finish them all off. The girls looked at all this and didn't understand what was happening because they even completely forgot about them and they didn't understand whether this guy was somehow connected with them. Ling Chen hid behind a tree and realized that there were too many of them and he had only one way out, to use his favorite technique, called the deadly waltz. And at that moment, Yi Ning Han ordered her comrades to immediately run away from there as quickly as possible and said that she would help this guy, otherwise he would die. 
The bandits continued to shoot at Ling Chen without stopping, but they could not hit him, they wondered how this guy managed to dodge bullets and was he really a superhero? Ling Chen continued to dodge bullets and shoot accurately at all opponents, he quickly finished with all of them and finally said that the show was over. Yi Ning Han told the guy that he single-handedly eliminated 30 people and said that he had an incredible level of shooting and was very accurate. The girls thought that this guy was some kind of superhero and they thought it was all a dream and said that they were very lucky that he was on their side. Tang Wu was very surprised and at the same time admired by the shooting skills of the change in his hair color and the transformation of this guy and asked him who he was. Ling Chen said that it was enough to talk already and told Tang Wu that now it was his turn, Ling Chen thought that he was the target of his wife and if he captured him then the mission would be completed. But unexpectedly, Tang Wu took the gun and pointed it at Yi Ning Han's head, Tang Wu ordered the guy to stop and said that if he took even a step in his direction, he would shoot her. The girls told Tang Wu to put down his weapon, and he couldn't believe that the spy that Director Chiao had been looking for almost all this month turned out to be Vice Director Yi Ning Han. Yi Ning Han told the guy that the number of his crimes was growing and today he killed many Snow Wolf agents and said that he was definitely betrayed. Tang Wu understood and said that if she knew a little information about him, then she definitely should have known that he was a member of the Snow Wolf in the past. Tang Wu said that in the past he risked his life for the Snow Wolf, but how did they repay him? And he said that the head of the mission committed suicide with his wife and did not think about the consequences. Yi Ning Han said that in any case, he helped them launder money, exchange weapons and smuggle and said that this was a crime and she would arrest him for it. Tang Wu said that he didn't care and then suddenly shot at Yi Ning Han, the girl thought that now she was definitely finished and asked Ling Chen for forgiveness. But unexpectedly, Ling Chen quickly ran towards her and stopped the bullet with his hand, Yi Ning Han, watching all this happening, froze in amazement. Tang Wu stood and couldn't believe his eyes, he said that it was impossible because this guy caught the bullet with his bare hands and thought, was this guy really that strong? Yi Ning Han was very surprised and she was interested to know who this guy was and why he saved her from all possible dangers. And then suddenly Tang Wu threw a smoke grenade in their direction and began to run from there, Ling Chen chased after him and asked where he was going, the girls asked the captain if they should chase him. Yi Ning Han said that there was no need for them to chase them and asked them to call the police in advance so that they could come there in advance and in the meantime they would search the house for evidence. Yi Ning Han looked carefully at the running guy and said that she would definitely find out who he really was because she was very interested in finding out the truth. Ling Chen was chasing Tang Wu and realized that he was lucky that this bastard ran away from there, because if he had stayed there, the girls would definitely have revealed his identity. And then suddenly Tang Wu stopped and told the guy that he knew that he was the god of murder and in fact his name was Chiao Shan and not Ling Chen. Tang Wu said that nothing connected them and asked if he could let him go this time and said that he could give him as much money as he wanted. Xiao Shan said that today he would definitely capture him because there was one person who wanted this, but Tang Wu asked not to underestimate him because he was also strong. But suddenly Tang Wu started running away from there and said that he was not a fool to fight him and said that in fact he was just looking for a way to survive. But suddenly Tang Wu ran up to the car Qin Nan was driving and grabbed her, he said that he had a hostage and this time he was very lucky. Ling Chen took aim at Tang Wu and told him to let Qin Nan go and said that she had nothing to do with it, Tang Wu said that he would count to three and if he did not let go of the gun, then this woman would die. Tang Wu counted to three and asked Ling Chen if he really didn't care about this girl, Ling Chen said that he would comply with his demands and threw his gun on the ground. Ling Chen told the guy to calm down and said that he was unarmed, but Tang Wu smiled and ordered Ling Chen to move 500 meters away from him and then he would save this girl. But Ling Chen lit a cigarette and said that he couldn't do this because he wouldn't let her go after he left and he guessed that Tang Wu would deceive him. Tang Wu told Ling Chen not to joke with him and said that he would now finish off this girl, but suddenly at that moment Ling Chen shot at Tang Wu and ended his life. Qin Nan said that it was crazy because he was done with this guy, Ling Chen said that if he had not done this, he would have finished her off and said that he would untie her now. After that, Qin Nan lost consciousness and, waking up in her car, she asked Ling Chen where they were and where they were going. Ling Chen said that he was glad that she woke up and said that they were already driving near the city and asked Qin Nan's address and said that he would take her home. 
but she started screaming and asked why the killer asked her address and said that she would never tell him about it. Ling Chen asked her not to scream and said that he was actually driving and he could have gone deaf from such a loud voice and asked her to calm down. The girl asked the guy for forgiveness, Ling Chen thought that this woman knew his secret and besides, she was Qin Ya's sister and he didn't know what to do with her. After some time, they finally returned to the hotel and Qin Nan hardly bandaged his wounded hand and asked for forgiveness and said that she had never bandaged anyone's wounds. Lin Chen said that it was okay because his injury was not serious and asked the girl if her sister Qin Ya lived there. Qin Nan said that her sister lived there, but she was not sure that she would come there today, she wondered what Ling Chen really wanted to do. Ling Chen remembered that on the way there he contacted her sister and he was sure that if she learned that Qin Nan was attacked, she would immediately rush there. And then suddenly someone knocked on the door and Qin Nan said that it was her sister who came and said that if her sister allowed it, he could stay there for the night. But suddenly a man opened the door and pointed a gun at her and said that he would now send her to the next world and she could meet her sister there. But suddenly at that moment someone shot directly at this man's forehead and he immediately fell to the ground without having time to shoot at Qin Nan. And suddenly Qin Ya appeared there with a gun in her hand and asked her sister if she was okay, Qin Ya was wounded in the arm and she miraculously managed to survive the assassination attempt. Qin Nan Yi was very happy to see her sister and hugged her and said that thank god she was fine because she was very scared for her. Qin Nan was bandaging her sister's hand and Ling Chen asked her if she meant that she and Xiao Yushan had some kind of disagreement. Qin Ya said that Tang Wu was his henchman and he didn't care about her sister's life and she no longer cooperated with him. Qin Ya said that there was too little room for her and Xiao Yushan in this world and she said that one of them would have to die, she said that if he was done with him, she would give him half of her assets. Ling Chen thought that this was a good task because his wife's target was also Xiao Yushan and he could solve the problems of two people with one murder. Meanwhile, Yi Ning Han told her comrades that it was her fault for the failure of this mission and said that she would report this to her superiors and they should continue the ambush. But suddenly a man approached them and told Yi Ning Han that they shouldn't do this, it was their boss and he said that tomorrow they would invade Xiao Yushan's organization and finish him off. Meanwhile, Mr. Xiao could not believe that it was Yi Ning Han who turned out to be a spy for the entire organization because he always trusted her. The subordinate approached the boss and said that there was no way they could find her, Yi Ning Han, and besides, Qin Ya also ran away somewhere, Director Xiao said there is no problem. After all, as long as the national treasure was with him, they would still continue to look for it, he said that as soon as they arrived he would catch them all and he prepared everything for their arrival. And suddenly, at that moment, wolves led by their boss arrived at Yushan's mansion and threw a grenade on the threshold of his house and an explosion immediately occurred. The girl asked her boss why they broke in there so openly, the boss told Yi Yen he that today he would teach her one truth and said that in the face of pure force, any enemy would be defeated. They went inside and Chief Xue Lang would now strike back at them and quickly dealt with all the guards and said that the job was done. The girls watched all this and said that the main captain Xue Lang was very strong and with one blow he could neutralize many opponents and this was real strength. And suddenly Yushan came out to them and patted the chief captain Xue Lang and told him that he was very strong and he really respected him. Xue Lang ordered Yushan to quickly give him the treasure of the blood red jade dragon and said that then he would not tear it into small pieces. Xiao Yushan told Captain Xue Lang that today someone would definitely die and said that it would not be him and ordered Xie Qiu to finish him off now and not leave anyone alive. A fierce battle began between Captain Xue Lang and Xie Qiu, and Xie Qiu suddenly even began to defeat the powerful captain in battle. Yi Ning Han wondered if Xie Qiu had crushed their chief captain with one blow, they did not understand what was happening there because their captain was the strongest of their agents. Yushan said that Xie Qiu was an elite fighter who mastered the ancient Chinese martial art and said that even seven fighters combined could not defeat him. Captain Xue Lang ordered his comrades to quickly leave from there, Yi Ning Han ordered all the girls to follow her and said that the captain would avenge them. Xie Qiu said that he would not allow them to leave there and wanted to use his skill on them, but suddenly Lin Chen defended the girls and said that they had fun there and asked them to join them. Yushan asked Ling Chen if Qin Ya really hired him to finish him off and said that he knew how strong he was but Xie Qiu was there with him so he would finish him off. 
Xie Qiu told Ling Chen to defend himself and said that he did not have the strength to resist him, but Ling Chen said that he was just an ant and suddenly changed his appearance. And at the same moment, Yi Ning Han was very surprised and realized that it was Ling Chen who saved her life at the time of the unsuccessful special operation. Ling Chen said that all evil savages would be punished and began to defeat the elite and powerful fighter Xie Qiu, Yu Shan couldn't believe it and thought it was impossible. Yu Shan said that he planned everything carefully but in the end he was defeated by Ling Chen, Ling Chen told the girls that Yu Shan was completely at their disposal. After that, Ling Chen began to leave from there and Yi Ning Han asked him where he was going, Ling Chen said that this was the first time he had done this and that and he couldn't let people reveal his identity. Ling Chen said that the right decision would be to leave now, Yi Ning Han asked him if he would come back after all, they were husband and wife. Ling Chen asked her not to worry and said that he will never forget that he is a married man and will always remember her. Yi Ning Han returned home and thought that the mission was completed and the national treasure was found and she was about to leave but Ling Chen never returned to her. She thought that if he suddenly returned, she would become a real wife for him, and then suddenly Ling Chen came out of her closet and asked his sweetheart why she had not slept yet. Yi Ning Han was very surprised and asked why he hid from her in the closet, but Ling Chen only smiled at her in response that it was not what she thought. 